Yo, what's up? I want to talk about the Tyrone Willie vs. J. Paul fight that happened on August 29th. It was a good fight, you know. Uh, I want to break it down real quick. This video is going to be short, I promise you guys. Um, or gals. This fight was, it was good, you know. Um, eight rounds, you know. Two minute each. Uh, Terry Woolley, he, he did the best he could, you know. This was his first pro boxing debut. So, you know, what can you really expect? And, you know, he tried his best. Jay Paul, this was his fifth? No, his fourth fight. Yeah. And his first pro debut, you know, on Showtime Boxing. And Jay Paul really, uh, he really did a... He put up a good fight, like I said, you know, whether you hate Jay Paul, you love Jay Paul, uh, Jay Paul won this fight by decision of the judges, you know. Uh, he got like five more points more than uh, Tyron Woolley. And, uh, you know, ever since the fight ended, you know, it's, it's been all over social media. Uh, Tyron Woolley wants to get the rematch. He got to get that tattoo. Uh, he wants to do it. He was telling not to do it, you know. Um, his MMA buddies say just take the L, you know. But you know, so we should see a rematch in the near future, you know. A Tyrone Willie versus Jay Paul part two, you know. But the fight was good, you know. I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people enjoyed it. At least watch the highlights. It was a good eight rounds, you know. Um, there's one two rounds where Jay Paul was rocky at the ropes. And, you know, it was just laying on the ropes and many people s said that should have been like a knockout, but it wasn't a knockout, man. Like, if it was a knockout, you know, he would have been knocked out, you know, but it didn't happen. So, you know, soccer playing, stop whining, you know, so he, he didn't get knocked out, you know. Tyrone Willie did get knocked out either, so no knockout. It was a, by a split decision of the judges, you know. And Tyron Woolley feels like he got robbed, you know, and, um, but, you know, hopefully there's going to be a part two. Jay Paul won this one. He's 4-0, you know, whether you hate him, you know, you like him, he puts up a good show. He sold out the arena from what I heard. So, that's a good thing, and, uh, you know, it, it just brings publicity and, you know, good ratings for boxing, you know, because boxing needs that, you know. I feel like boxing been dying in the last couple of years. But slowly but slowly, more people get into the boxing, more celebrity boxing. And, you know, the boxing lives on forever. So that's just my quick review of the Tyrone Woolley vs. J. Paul fight that happened on August 29th on Sunday. It's a good fight. There's also other fights that happen, of course. The undercard, uh, you know, which looks great. Amazing. Two women put it all on the line. For the championship and the champion retained. Hell of a match. But of course the main event. Jake Paul vs. Tyron Woolley. Was definitely a, a main event. You know that everybody was talking about. Social media. I enjoyed it. I know you guys enjoyed it. If not go ahead and check out the highlights on YouTube. You know. And uh, you know this is Richie Squirrel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking this video out. And uh, you have any comments you want to talk about this fight. You know, uh, feel free to discuss in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Check out my other videos. And peace.